Nigeria of my dream. Well, more security, better education, and just seeing everybody flourish. The Nigeria of my dream is a country where there will be equity, justice, and fairness. Nigeria of my dream will be a country where love leads. Because if love leads, I'm sure the land will be. Nigeria is a very beautiful country. A country that comes with natural resources and all to be a better place. My job, my dream is something good and better than this you have now. Something like favorable to everybody out there than what we have in Africa now. Currently, even Lagos as a whole, it's like a war zone. So it is very difficult for some to cope. First, I've said the government. Secondly, we the citizens too are both. So it's hand, work hand in hand. So we are both doing the same thing. I want Nigeria to succeed. Honestly, sometimes I always do complain that Nigeria sucks or Nigeria is the Nigeria is that. But I myself, I know that our leaders are trying. They are doing their best. But I think they still need to do more. And we the people should do more as well. I want Nigeria to be there and not regarded as the least. We used to be known as the giant of Africa. I don't know if we still are. The Nigeria of my dream is to be better, to stop a lot of corruption and embezzlement, and actually put more emphasis on the youth. The Nigeria of my dream is just the type of Nigeria where a son of nobody will be able to become somebody. Let me just put it like that. Nigeria of my dream is one with a national consciousness where there's no any form of ethnic discrimination. It yes, still boils down to Nigeria of my dream, which is this tribalistic mindset. Everybody just wants to see their own section grow. You know, Nigeria, fine, Nigeria is a country with multiple tribes. So if we are not thinking together, there's this tendency of wanting to be biased when we act. And if this continues, then Nigeria would never achieve nation building. Well, Nigeria of my dream is a Nigeria where someone who knows nobody can become somebody. Where it's not about, it's not about who your parents are or who you know, but it's about what you can achieve, what you can actually bring to the table. Nigeria of my dreams, uh, walking on the street without police harassing me, and uh, I would say a good leadership, a whole, that's all. If you were made the president of Nigeria for a day, what changes will you make? First of all, the educational system is completely whack. First, let's say probably distinguish between HND and BSc. Like there's this discrimination always between them. Maybe stabilize it. Education is education. And maybe push it out in the sense that, okay, it's what you have to offer, not only the educational system, because education is learning. You can learn in different aspects. So that is where I really focus on. That's maybe also establish the country itself, not always importing. Nigeria is blessed, so there are so many resources we could actually handle. We are blessed with so many things in this country, in Nigeria, but few people are enjoying this thing. And that's why we spend so much on security. If you are entitled to one naira, you have the, your one naira. And I have my one naira. I won't be running after you. So we spend less on security. But because some people want to pack everything that belongs to the vast majority of Nigeria, and that's why we are having crisis all over Nigeria. So if I made this president of this country, I will make sure there is, there is equity, there is justice. What belongs to you, I should not embrace what belongs to the whole Nigeria. It's madness. When somebody is having billions of naira in his own account, when some people have not eaten anything, I don't know the joy they derive in such a thing. So if I made the president of this country, there should be equity, there should be justice, and there should be fairness. To create more job opportunities. I'll work on our economy, because that's what is really, really affecting us right now. We don't have job opportunities in Nigeria. I would try um, venturing into that. Oh my goodness, if I made the president of Nigeria for a day, I hope I will be able to do it. It just boils down to the basic needs of Nigeria because Nigeria, as far as I am concerned, we are still at the level of hunger. So then if I made the president of Nigeria, maybe for a day, I would try as much as possible to affect the power supply, which is erratic, the issue of health, the issue of transportation, then education, a house, which is the ability to create housing, then clothing and shelter. That's clothing and shelter. So I just believe no matter how you are a leader, if all those things are not there, then we are still not at the level of progressing to, you know, the meeting up with the standard of 
the nation that we are looking up to. I would work on the youth because I think we occupy the major population of the country. So I believe if we work on the youth, the changes will come. There. With my own little power, I think first thing is to create employment opportunity for people, then skills acquisition program for young teenagers. What changes can you make as a youth in your own little corner to develop our day nation? Giving to the needy. I'm also in all these programs where church programs or youthful programs where we give out bags of rice in Domi to the widows or the less privileged. So that's what I normally do. Yes, in my own little corner, I make sure that anybody that comes around me, there is fairness, there is justice, there is equity, like I have said. I attend to students most of the time, and uh, I don't say because they are students, because I'm in position today, and I deprive them of their rights. No, I attend to them. That's what I am being employed to do. I attend to them at the right time. I don't shout on them because I am privileged to be there today. Uh, some of the students, once they come or people that come around me, I make sure that I let them understand their right and their privilege. Not that not because I am there today, I capitalize on that and I, oh, no, 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 it shouldn't be. In my own little corner, I make sure that everybody that comes around me, I don't put them in pain. I make them smile. That's just my case. As far as I'm, I am concerned, I will be able to impact change, to go up there, to, to vote when I'm supposed to vote to contest if perhaps reality permits me because I have a lot to do in From your perspective, what's that one thing that is hindering the growth and development of Nigeria? It's corruption. We just need to put out everybody being selfish for their own pockets and have an open heart. One key thing that is hindering the development and growth of Nigeria is selfishness greediness and some people believe that this country belongs to them they must do it at their own pace at their own level whereas they know nothing that's the problem we are having in this country we are the one in really growth and development of our country yeah because people would have been expecting to say it's the government right but also it's the government because i'm sure if you and i were put in their positions we, we might do us it's easier to say when you're not in, in a person she grab uh, first of all we have to change our mindset about some things and secondly, when our government bring a bus until like, you know, it's not February to us, we should try and retaliate back instead of us adapting to it immediately. I hope that Nigeria should have um, a good economy. I want Nigeria to be much more civilized, like to stop all these corruptive acts that is going on in this nation. Yeah, that's what I actually want. Hey, not to be biased, uh, lying takes a very big place in our country lies lies we always lie so maybe lying will subside that the people in power i feel like they're hindering the day because everybody keeps on doing the same thing even people who complain when we get there you keep on continuing the the cycle the paramount thing is leadership if you can do with our leadership i feel like every every other thing will be settled Yes, youth can handle it if we have a supporter, like someone that can support the way they support them too, during their own um, youthful age. If we have supporters, so someone that can support us, encourage us, youth can do better because we have the ability, we have the power to do that. Nigeria is firm. A country with essential, with visible human and natural blessing. Nigeria is strong. Nigeria is a home. Nigeria shall rise again. In any nation future lies the future of its youth and what we do today that will shape our future. We must be intentional in moving our country to a greater state. This is our time. You have a part to play in the new Nigeria. And just like Uncle Charles Bruce would say, if each one could reach one, then each one can teach one what a much more beautiful nation Nigeria would be. Whether you like it or not, or whether you know it or not, you are your sister and your brother's keeper. So, show love, just because. We can cultivate and develop the good land together. Happy, Happy Independence, Independence Day, Day Nigeria! Nigeria.